So The Sims 4 is about to release the brand new stock pack, The Sims 4 Paranormal Activity. And thank you to EA for granting me early access to this pack to review it today. Basically, this pack's gonna be about being scared, being spooked, living in a haunted house, which I'm really excited to see. And I feel like every time we get a new stuff pack, the bar is raised that little bit more every single time. I feel like this should be good. So this is Rico Boo. I've just created him. He's gonna be an evil Sim. He'd love to live in a haunted house. It's kind of like Gru from Despicable Me. But anyway, I'm just looking at the new hair right now. And I, I've got to be really honest with you guys. I've never seen this kind of hair before. I think it's cool though. And then we have this hair as well, which we saw in the trailer. Trailer? Trailer? Really, really like it. Anyone can rock this hairstyle. Then there's this one as well. I love it. I think it's fun. I'm not as much into the fringes personally, and I can see a little line here. Is that line on everyone's game? Or maybe it's just my graphics card. Uh, and then there's this hair as well, which is very pretty which is very pretty. So obviously this is listed as a female hair, so you can see it on a female sim. I think the easiest way to make someone look evil is just furrow their eyebrows, which is a real shame because if you have furrowed eyebrows, you're kind of, I'm sorry, you're just gonna look evil. We'll give them a longer head because people always say that my sims have really short heads. We need to fix that. So there we go. This is our Sim Rico. Good old Rico. There's no new facial hair. However, there is a new hat, which I did not expect. So it looks like we've got one to unlock here. Survive seven nights in a haunted house. Oh, that's cool. There are these necklaces as an accessory, which do not really fit over this jacket. So I did see this in the trailer. It's just like layered, beaded necklaces. Pretty cool. And then in terms of makeup, I doubt there's any new makeup in this pack, but we can check it anyway. No. In terms of outfits, we have this here, which this is definitely giving me like more 70s boho vibes. Uh, I have to say, I really like this top. And then there's this again, getting that 70s vibe, a lot of geometric patterns, florals. But then again, you have this more like contemporary looking jacket that's a bit more tailored. Really like that. And then there's a shorter version with a vest as well. So it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of layers. What's with the shirt here? Is that because we have the necklace on? Oh, it's just the necklace clipping, right? So, bit disappointing. I feel like the necklace should have been tested to sit cleanly under the shirt in the same pack. Little extra eye for detail, I think, may be needed for that. Uh, there is a full outfit that you unlock as well with the hat. It looks like you unlock it at the Seven Nights in a Haunted House as well, so I'd be very curious to see that too. And then we got some pants, okay. So we got these pants with a bit of a tie on them. Again, feeling boho vibes. Ooh, look at these pants, love the stripes as well. And then we have a more classic straight-legged vibe. And then we've got this, uh, you know, keychain thing hanging off the pocket, which is kind of cool. A uh, little pet peeve about putting a chain on the pocket is that it looks like it's painted on the pants, like it doesn't, it's not 3D at all. There's no accessories, but in terms of shoes, you can unlock a pair of shoes at level seven, or oh, seven nights in a haunted house. So it looks like you unlock like a full outfit at after seven nights, which is, is awesome. That's something that I like when there's an incentive to do something and you get something that's pretty cool. So if we go to the female clothes, she does not look like she's having a good day. This top is stunning. I love this top. I think this is gorgeous. I love the floral patterns. Again, like 60s, 70s vibe, but we've also got the more basic swatches as well. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous and definitely something that I'm gonna use a lot. And then we also have this top as well, which is pretty, you know? And then in terms of bottoms, oh, I love these shorts. So these are awesome. They come in different colors as well. They come in, oh, stop it. You can match this top to the shorts. Wait, you can match the color of this top, I think, to the shorts. Oh, that would have been really cute as a matching top. You can match this top to the shorts though. So that's really cute. We love a little matching moment, you know? Now, in terms of full length clothes, this is nice. I do like this. This is very pretty. It's really cute. And I'd love to see a version without the belt as well. I'm sure some CC creators will jump onto that. Then there's this very 70s looking dress, uh, very boho looking with the, the vest on here as well. These are really great outfits. Oh, I love that color. 
I love that colorway. And then this, I've been really excited to see. I thought it would be a full outfit. I didn't think this would be a separate, but I just thought this was really cool because it's not something we've had in the game ever before. And I feel like it's a real showstopper moment. Whenever someone wears something big like this and flowy, it's awesome. And also keeping in mind, this is kind of hard to do in The Sims 4 because, you know, this can easily clip into legs and all of that. So I'm excited to see this. I think actually this will be really nice on curvier Sims too. This kind of billowy dress I think is really nice. Actually, all of these outfits will look really good on any size Sims. So that's really good. In terms of accessories, there's not much there. We did get some new shoes though. <gasps> yes! I love these shoes. What are they called again? Mary Jane's. That is awesome. I am so excited for that. And it looks like we'll also unlock some more shoes at level seven too. By the way, you guys, I'm just editing right now. And I remembered I totally forgot to show you guys if there's any kids items. This is the only kids item other than the hairstyles. So uh, yeah, it's just some denim shorts and this more longish top. So that's really nice. And yeah, for the hairstyles you have, I think these three available. And for toddlers, you only have a couple of the hairstyles available. So you have this one and this one. Sweet. I don't know how I missed this, but there's also a pair of jeans for women <laughs> with the same tie as the guys. And there's also a skirt here, which is kind of like a basic suede maybe looking skirt. I'm not really sure what texture that is. Maybe it's a leather skirt, but yeah, that uh, oopsie doopsies, I missed that. Yeah, Rico Boo looking pretty awesome. Let's check out Build and Buy and see what's up with all of that. But I'm liking the aesthetic of this. Like, I think the boho was a good direction to go in because we've done the old Victorian, which usually is associated with things being a bit more haunted and spooky. We've done that in uh, Vampires. We've done that a little bit also in Strangerville little bit. I think this will also go really nicely with Forgotten Hollow. So let's go straight to Forgotten Hollow to one of these blank sides because this came with The Sims 4 Vampires. It's already dark and moody and I feel like if we want to live in a haunted house, wouldn't mind doing that in Forgotten Ho Hollow. And it's snowing right now. It is snowing in spring. Does that happen anywhere? Okay, I totally forgot that if we go into Forgotten Hollow that... <laughs> Forgot, forgotten hollow. Totally forgot that if we go into a dark and moody neighborhood, it's gonna be a little tricky to actually see the assets. So I just built this lovely box with very strategically placed lights. Keeping in mind, this is a stuff pack, which looks like it has a lot of gameplay in it. Uh, I'm not expecting too much in terms of build and buy stuff. We've got this wallpaper, which I have to say is pretty gorgeous. Love it. Uh, really nice swatches too. You know, you've got your brights, you got your really girly, you got your golden, you got your maroon, you got your black. Love it. I might go with the blue. In terms of flooring, this is new flooring that I spotted in the trailer as well, which I really like. I feel like we need more flooring like this. I really want to see a herringbone flooring. Is it her herringbone? You know, the one that's more diagonal. Um, But you know what? This is, this is cool. This is different. This is something that we don't have. In terms of other build and buy assets, there's no doors or windows or anything like that. Again, as a stuff pack, I wouldn't really expect that. But what I do expect is that we're gonna have some nice items and I think we're gonna get some good ones. Yes, look at this chair, everyone. I like that chair, that is a nice chair. Okay, this is great, very versatile. I mean, I'm gonna use this chair to death and we've been asking for basic, modern armchairs and couches for a long time. So I'm really stoked to see this and stoked to see them in the basic black and white colors as always. I also love that color. Then we have a more ornamental looking chair, which definitely has that more like boho vibe. It's quite vibrant as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I think a lot of people will love this chair and have a lot of fun with that. Then we have this chair. Ooh, wicker moment. Mm, now this is very trendy at the moment, this kind of wicker look, but I wonder if this is gonna be in the natural swatches. Okay, we do have it in a natural swatch. Very nice chairs. I mean, I like a wicker moment. Now this is what I was most excited from for from the trailer. This couch, yes, I love it. I love the draped things on it. The only thing is, if you place two of them, they're gonna look kind of silly because everything's positioned in the same spot. So I wish they kind of moved the blankets and pillows around just a little bit from, you know what I mean? And repeated some swatches. Cause like, here's the deal folks. If you wanna go like this in your house, that looks really stupid. Cause it's exactly the same. You get what I mean? So really I'm only gonna be able to use one couch 
and then I'm gonna have to use the armchairs unless they provided another couch that's a two-seater, uh, which they did provide this one, which will also go with it, but it might not go with my vibe that I'm going for, so. Yeah, that's just a little bit of feedback. I remember I used to play this game. Was it the Bratz game or something? And it was like, bomb, bomb diggity dog. Like every time you clicked on something. Does anyone know that game? Now I really wanna play it again. So if you remember it, do let me know. This is a nice little table moment. I feel like this is where you would sit if you had something really like to talk about, you know? Like come take a seat, I need to tell you something. Intimate table. Wait, is this, what, is this an end table? Oh wait, this isn't a table you sit at. Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is, because these chairs go here, okay. For a second I was like, is this an end table? Is this a side table? What kind of table is this? My life is so stressful. This has a little bit of a Moroccan feel about it. Mmm, very bright. And you know what? This also reminds me of some of the items in the movie Stuff Pack, which was very boho, very vibrant though. I felt like it was a bit, too bright at times for my liking, but uh, I think people will love this and I'm obsessed with this table. Where did this table come from? I have no idea, but I am into it. This is like the seeing eye table, but this looks so bougie. Like this can go with your Get Famous gameplay or your city penthouse and looks so good. Or we can make it look really creepy. So I'm into that. Ooh, nice. This is cool. I've seen that in the trailer. What is this? Oh, that's pretty. That's actually really, really pretty. <gasps> and it comes in plain too. I really like this. I did not think that would be my taste. Great auntie's desk. Kind of creepy, but that's cool. What is this? Bewitching bohemian shelf, bohemian shelf. Oh, this was the saddest thing ever. So I was obsessed when I saw the plant on this and then I realized that it's just part of the object. I really wish they offered this plant as a separate object. Uh, this is a sideboard hutch. This is a seance table. So this is pretty important in gameplay as well. Uh, so this is, I guess, where you're gonna sit to do your seancey stuff. And this is it already as a set. So I guess it's good you can use it as a separate object or they've already laid it out here for you if you wanna do that. And there's a crystal ball here too that we can play around with. Then we've got a botanical arrangement. So they're like, we know you really wanted this pot. So we're at least gonna give you a couple of other items to have fun with. So thanks, Sim, I really appreciate that. I mean, it's nice, it's, it's, it's oh, this is nice. I mean, our ceiling's a little bit too high for us to really see it properly. This is very nice. Uh, this is another botanical arrangement that won't fit on anything. So I guess it's, it's meant to go on the floor. It's a floor-based arrangement. I mean, I guess it is pretty big. It might not fit onto the tables very nicely, but what happens if I wanted to put it on this right here? I think that would have would have looked sick. Very nice item nonetheless. This is the cutest thing ever. Look at it. Look at it. I was so hoping it would bob and move. I mean, totally shouldn't expect that much, but I just, it's so cute. What is it about teeny tiny baby things that we were like, oh, Cute. Must be some like built-in survival instinct for you to like nurture little things and young animals and stuff to help their survival. God, I'm so scientific. Now this is a very nice palm tree. I feel like you put this in your house and you're just living your best life. You don't even need to go on holiday. You bring the holiday to you. This is nice too. It's kind of creepy. Um, and I think this guy, the Johnny Depp guy, is the guy that's gonna help us, you know, with the seance stuff. Love the mother down here. Okay, we've also got some more paintings of Johnny Depp. I think whoever made this was a big fan of Johnny Depp. His real name's Cloud, so I mean, there's gonna be, a lot of clouds around. Is this how we, oh, he's a paranormal investigator and beloved flirt from 1880 to 1920. Interesting. I hope we can get together with him. Perished in an untimely Murphy bed accident. Okay, that's pretty funny. Then there's this, which is awesome. Temperance's Manor. Hmm, love that. I wonder if that's a build in the game. Okay, then we have these curtains, which, were also in the trailer, which are pretty cool. The thing is, I wish there was like a rod to kind of make them look connected and like they slid across. But they, these are nice with the beads. 
kind of feels like you're going to see a fortune teller. This is just like a random bird who's loving life. This is the crystal ball, very important. This is the creepy Figma strong hand, which I think is very auspicious. I quite like this. I feel like this is a clutter item I'm gonna use all the time. What is this? The occult marking scares me, but that's cool. How did I already spend 50 grand? I did a mother load earlier. I need a mother load again. This stuff is expensive. But this pack will send your Sims broke. This rug, I'm into rugs and I, I definitely like this colorway the best. I was kind of hoping for a bit more variety, but you know what? I'm happy with that. That's a good, that's a good start. Fireplace, it's a little ornamental for me. I could have done without these curves on every swatch, but hey, it does suit the pack. Good mojo, mac macrame. You know, macrame has been a really big thing uh, the last five years. You know, everyone loves the macrame. I don't, cause they gather lots of dust. That's nice. Why am I getting out a kitty litter? What else have I missed here? We've got some new sconce lights. Oh, nice. Oh, and then we have an extra clutter item here. This teapot, tea time. I feel like this would have suited um, the last expansion pack more just because it has that Japanese tea look about it. And it makes me wonder, I wonder. It's probably unlikely, but I'm like, I wonder if I would, were like working on this for the other pack. And then they're like, oh, maybe we'll put it in this pack. Cause I feel like it's kind of random unless I'm missing like a seance tradition that involves tea or maybe it's just boho. I don't know. I'm just creating conspiracy theories to stir the pots. <laughs> And this is cute. This looks like it's got little legs and it's gonna run away. This is just a fun little lamp. And of course these, the suspense, suspended lights. Ha ha ha. These are very pretty. I do like them. I think I'm actually gonna use these a hell of a lot. So in terms of build and buy, uh, there's not a whole lot, but I think that's because there's gameplay in this stuff pack. Usually stuff packs only had stuff in them, not really gameplay except for maybe an item that opened you up to some new gameplay, but this this actually is gonna be more than that. Now I'm also assuming there's gonna be some pre-built rooms, which would be great, uh, because we're gonna be, you know, doing a little bit of paranormal activities. So we have two pre-made rooms. This one is the eccentric eclectic sitting room, uh, which is really nice. I always love seeing how they've done the rooms because it shows you the possibilities of what you can do with the new items. And you can get a lot of ideas from that. Let's uh, buy this room. I'm just gonna place that right here. So that's pretty awesome. And then this one is Lady Raven Dance's Seance Parlor. Oh, I love that. Okay, so this is the seance room. So maybe we can put that here. I know the rooms look a little awkward just like this, but I want to check out the gameplay. Hey, um, how do we, I don't, wait, how do we even, how do we do anything in this pack? Should we look at pictures of, um, Gilderoy Lockhart? Maybe we just have to look at the painting of him. I feel like this painting of him is pretty significant. No, I don't feel like Batu right now. Okay. Viewing the painting doesn't work. What about if we click on the seance? Table, sense spiritual volatility. Sense how haunted the current lot is. Commune with the departed. Speak with the dearly departed. Maybe they'll offer some wisdom. Oh, I wonder if there's a new lot type. Is this, do, can we make this into a haunted house? <gasps> haunted house residential. There is something special about this place. But living in a haunted house adds an extra bit of risk. It's not without its rewards. Just a fair warning, things are gonna get weird. Good luck. Okay, let's definitely do that. What else do we need? <gasps> oh, lot features. Okay. Oh, right. So you have to select the lot type and then you can get the Gildry the ghost. You can get the specters. You can get haunted treasure. Huh, specters have all sorts of strange valuables on them. Paranormal activity, things get weird around here, especially at night. Your sims will definitely take notice. Accursed objects, occasionally strange artifacts find their way into your house. Keep your eyes peeled. It's alive. Try keeping the entities of the house on your good side. Be brave. Each successful night yields reward store points for all Sims. Aspiring investigators welcome. Become a paranormal investigator with the help of Gildry. She's coming for you? What is this? I don't I don't think there's any extra traits, but these are just like lot features. Okay. 
So that's how you, how you live on a haunted house lot. But I don't know, like, is he just gonna rock up? <gasps> perform ceremony. Oh, perform a ceremony to make the house a little less haunted. Be warned, this ceremony drains Sims of their energy. Successful ceremonies also make Sims a little less scared. So when is Gilderoy gonna come out? Is he just gonna, like, do we wait until nighttime? Does he just come out randomly? I don't know you guys, but I'm really curious to see. That's cool. Well, what I may do is I might leave this video right here and then I'll release another gameplay video exploring it all. So keep an eye out, eye out for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like and the bell to know when I upload. And we will get dressed into our nightgown with a candlestick and check out the pack. Um, and I'll sort of find how to get Gilderoy Lockhart to come out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you at Sam's with you soon. Mwahaha. Okay. Bye.